Hey, how's it going? Gavin from ThriveWP.com. Today I'm going to be looking at Google Search Console errors and what they mean and how to kind of manage them. We get a lot of questions from, from clients um, trying to understand why they have, you know, so many errors in uh, their Search Console. Um, for a lot of them, uh, it's stuff you don't necessarily need to worry about, but it's always worth checking. So we're just going to use one of our own um, sites that we know has a lot of errors, um, but they're not errors in the sense that you think they might be. So if we just go to uh, pages and you can see, oh no, we've got over 2,000 pages not indexed. And then we've got pages with redirects, alternate, uh, alternative pages with a proper canonical tag, um, excluded by no index, so on and so forth. So you think, geez, you know, Google's not not uh, you know indexing all these pages, um, but when you start digging in, you start to realise what is actually going on. So if we say pages with redirects, this basically means uh, we have on this site it's a forum, so that's why there's so many pages. We have 168,000 plus of pages with redirects. Okay. So you think, oh god, I've got 168,000 plus pages that aren't indexed. That's not true um, as such. So all these pages, basically Google saying, hey, we, we used to see a post here um, or a page here, but now it's not there because it's redirecting somewhere else. So that's absolutely fine. So this page, for example, um, is not indexed, but that's fine um, because if we've just clicked that one, right? So this is the URL originally, threads 23951. We've just clicked it and it's redirected to this, threads, and then we've got the warm or cold water. So this URL is active and working. Um, it's just basically Google saying, hey, this content used to be here, but now it's redirecting. So we're not indexing this URL because there's no point, um, but they, will most likely have indexed that URL and for us to check all we need to do is pop that URL up here hit enter and um, let it retrieve from a Google index and as you can see URL is on Google page is indexed it's all good all right and this will be the case for pretty much every single one of these um, page with redirect errors okay all it is is Google saying hey in our index we still see some of these URLs but they're redirecting but the page that they're redirecting to is indexed so you don't have to worry um, so a lot of these page issues uh, are, are you know similar so pages with a not a proper call a canonical tag again this basically is um, pages that maybe are shown in two different places um, so again, similar to the redirects really, I mean this is a bit different because it's our forum so it's kind of digging into other stuff um, like comments and so on. Um, but what it's basically saying is Google is saying, hey, we've, we've seen this content on this page, but then we also see it on this page. So it could be, you know, the old URL and then the redirected URL. And what Google's done is basically said, right, you know, we've chosen uh, a page with a canonical tag so this page is irrelevant um, and that's what it's saying there is an alternative page with a canonical tag which basically means the original content um, so again you can ignore those excluded by no index tag so in your sitemap you will always have um, some no index tags when we talk about WordPress for example there's things that most of the time if you use things like Yoast and stuff um, there will be things in your sitemap that don't need to be indexed necessarily. Um, for a lot of people, you don't need the author archives um, indexed, or you don't really need the tag um, sitemap indexed, or you know date-related things indexed. So there's some things that that aren't really going to pro provide uh, any SEO benefit. So again, you know, having a no-index tag is not a big issue. Um, you know like we've got this URL for example it's a search term 
um, we don't need Google to index somebody's random search term. It's, it's, it's not going to serve any benefit to anybody. Um, so our sitemap is automatically not, is basically saying don't index this page. That's absolutely fine. Um, but like I said, by all means, you know, look through these, double check it's not, you know, important pages. But the majority of the time, something excluded by a no index tag is because it needs to not be indexed. Um, then you've got things like blocked due to access forbidden. Okay, and you may or may not see this one. Um, so for us here, a lot of these, so members, 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 attachments, members. So for this forum particularly, we have a members section and you have to be logged in to see this content. Um, so that is likely why Google's saying, hey, I can't index this. And that's fine. I don't want that to be indexed anyway because it's a private members area. Um, so again, you know, you have to look through your stuff in context of your website and your business. But most of your page index issues where it's not indexed is usually perfectly fine. Not found 404. Um, so again, this is a profile of somebody on our forum. If I um, paste that URL in, see what happens. Oops, ran into a problem, right? So either that person doesn't exist, okay? Um, it might be because their profile's been deleted. It might be because they've chosen to have their profile private. Um, so again, yes, Google's saying, hey, I can't find, I, I know this URL did exist at some point, but there's nothing there. Um, and for this situation, that's fine. Um, the likelihood is is that it's not there because it's been removed. Um, so again, you know, it's not something to, to, to freak, out about, freak out about. <laughs> Um, then you've got things like crawled, currently not indexed. So that means that Google has crawled it. It's just not indexed yet. Um, so that's fine. That will be indexed eventually um, when Google gets around to it. And then you've got discovered, not indexed yet. And then you've got duplicate. Um, Google chose a different canonical than user. So again, this is similar to the other can canonical one where they've noticed a thread and this could be um, with WordPress specifically it might be that you have a blog and you have a blog with several pages so it might be that your URL changes but has like a, a number for a different page or it might be you know various different reasons but you know basically what this is Google is saying is that we can see this content here, but we can also see it somewhere else or on a different URL. And we've decided that we've chosen another one to be the one that we we kind of tag. Okay, um, so again, they're, they're not issues really. They're, it's just more about telling you why something isn't indexed. Um, so it's, it's not a big problem in that sense. Okay. Um, Again, things like videos and stuff can determine a prominent video on the page. So for us, again, it might be that um, a video was removed. Um, it might be that it's in a member's area. It might be that the video didn't load um, in time for Google to kind of see it. So there is a video there, okay? Um, and it says here, Google could not determine the prominent video on the page. So Google will have looked through this page and gone, hmm, doesn't really seem prominent because for this site specifically, um, this video is just within a post. So it's not a prominent video on the page, really. If, if you had a prominent video, it would be, you know, up top. So again, not a major issue for, for that page for us. Um, video not found on the host service, so again, one of these, uh, somebody might have uploaded a video and then removed it. So, you know, all of that stuff is, it's basically Google just saying, hey, we've noted this stuff, but in all honesty, as you've seen, um, a lot of it you don't need to worry about, okay? Um, then you've got things like page index, core web vitals. Core web vitals is where you will see some errors sometimes, um, 
we don't have any major at the moment I don't think uh, no so we've got needs improvement CLS so uh, content layout shift so basically what this means is something on the page on mobile is um, causing the content to shift very quickly uh, as the page loads so it might be that the logo kind of just you know as the page is loading stuff kind of falls into place um, and these things will come and go so we've done nothing to fix this okay and as you can see it's been affecting several pages or URLs over time we've not done anything to fix this at all <coughs> excuse me um, we've just left it and so since February um, apparently it is no longer an issue so you know some stuff you, you don't necessarily need to act upon right away <coughs> just grab a drink <laughs> so then we've got things like text too small to read again it was an issue apparently uh, now it's not and again we've done nothing to fix or change that so you have to bear in mind that Google will pick up on stuff uh, and it may or may not be there um, same with stuff too close together again it's not been an issue since January we've not done anything to change that um, so you have to kind of take some of these errors uh, with a pinch of salt kind of look through them but just because it says oh your pages aren't indexed this that and the other you don't need to worry so much um, just have a look through but bear in mind what I said about all the page indexing stuff here so you know we have a huge amount uh, 212,000 pages that are not indexed okay but pretty much all of those are not a problem because they're all redirects and all the pages that are, are all the pages that these are redirected to um, are indexed so it's not an issue really but like I say check through them um, but most likely it's not going to be a problem okay see you in the next video thanks for watching give it a thumbs up cheers